Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a lot of things. Bitcoin broke the one month trend and we will check where are the good entry points. I don't think it's a bear market, even though people uh, scream it sometimes. Also, Aaron popularity check because it is increasing. Cardano, by the rumor sell the news, we will discuss about that as well. And at the end, I will show you why shouldn't we panic when a bigger institution like Tesla sells Bitcoin. They didn't sell. I'm just going to show you how big is the panic comparing to what the actual numbers are. Stay with me. Before we start the usual user VPN, if you want to get in contact with me, Discord or Twitter, everything is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button because that's how we trigger the YouTube algorithm and that's how my videos will reach more and more people and I would truly really appreciate that. We are at the Bitcoin price chart and as you can see, we broke this upward momentum, let's say momentum, this rising wedge and right now we are around 47,000. The small support didn't catch the price, so right now we are looking at the 43,000. The reason is the following, I'm gonna show you. In my eyes, this is a micro or mini uh, head and shoulders pattern. And if you want to go technical, then it would say that the Bitcoin price target for right now is 44,000. Now, this correction was imminent because the, high, the higher highs were slowing down so were the higher lows the volume was depleting and as i said many times in my previous videos it looks like a correction um, is on the horizon i wouldn't be surprised so if we would go back to the 43,000, i think that would be a good entry point i'm not saying that we are a bear market and everything will go down blah 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 i just i just think that we have a healthy correction i hope it goes lower a bit because yesterday yesterday i sold my trading coins these are the coins which i don't hold but i trade i sell and uh, buy and sell all the time every couple of days as i see fit Yesterday I sold most of them and now I have my liquidity in stable coins. Therefore, I am waiting to see what Bitcoin is going to do so I can buy back some of the stable coins um, in order to maximize the profit because that's how you should do it. I want to talk about Cardano. Cardano, and this is not because they rated my Twitter profile. It's because I also like Cardano. It had a big pump uh, and right now the 50 day moving average stopped the crash, which is very good. It is all because the Alonso hard fork is coming on the 12th of September. Everybody is looking sharp on Cardano. It has the biggest hype maybe ever. I don't know. Uh, but there is one small thing which we all, always have to keep in mind. There is an old saying in trading, buy the rumor, sell the news. This means that if the update or the upgrade doesn't work out as they plan to do, is the, if there are bugs, if there are unsatisfied clients or traders or, or stakers or anything, then that could be shown on the price and for a small time, temporary, the price could plummet and that indeed creates a good entry point so right now i don't have cardano i uh, don't trade it uh, i am really curious to see what will happen with this alonso fork and how the price will react to it now some say that cardano will reach the 50 dollars and 100 dollars i want to talk about that as well and don't take it as criticizing it i'm not criticizing it it's just pure math bitcoin's market cap right now it's eight 180 billion dollars cardano's market cap is 83 uh, billion dollars meaning that if cardano would go to the 50 dollars the market cap would be twice as big as bitcoins i know that it's a big hype on cardano i know that they have a very big community but i don't think it's that big so be careful with it always treat every information with a pinch of salt I don't see Cardano, let's say, doubling Bitcoin's market cap in the next couple of months. I think we will need a couple of years and a couple of good delivered developments for Cardano to double Bitcoin's market cap. But it's, it's only my opinion. Everybody 
does and thinks what they want, obviously. Aaron. Aaron is now at the $136. I don't know what you think, but I think that after this flash crash, can we call this flash crash? I don't think so. It's more correction. It went down 11%. There was a short squeeze here. I hope that nobody of you got wrecked uh, by this whip up. Uh, this is usually when people think that the price will go down like a lot and they leverage, I mean, they short the the asset with high leverage and then the market reacts and takes out those trades uh it's it's not very pleasant i heard lot of lots of people who lost a lot of money trading with leverage so if you are not very experienced don't do that also aaron's popularity is increasing beniminku was invited to celsius network coin talk and uh, it seems that he accepted as they tweeted about the interview Celsius Network has a YouTube channel. I will link it in my description so you can go and check it out. Uh, this is very good. I think it adds to the popularity of Aaron because in the last couple of weeks, months, everything was pretty quiet. I know that they are working. I saw that they are partnering up with a lot of people. I am 100% sure that uh, lots of work is going on. Uh, in the background, we are still waiting for MyR exchange, obviously, but marketing is very, very important as you can see it on Cardano. Therefore, I, I do hope that uh, Benny Minku will go to more and more interviews and uh, makes Aaron more and more popular. Now, if you want to know what is Celsius, I just wanted to highlight one of the good services. You can stake uh, stable coins, for example, with them, also crypto and also uh, gold tokens. But why stablecoins I'm interested in? I'm interested in stablecoins because, for example, if in two weeks, I don't know, bear market is coming and we are on our hand with a lot of stablecoins, but we don't want to pay taxes, for example, or you don't want to send it out because you don't want to pay the fees, you would reinvest the stablecoins anyway when the, the, when the prices go down, then this is a very good option where you just stake your stable coins you get an 11 percentage apy this is per year and when the time comes and you want to take out you just take out and buy crypto coins on it now why i'm saying that this is very good i'm sure that there are other uh, platforms where they offer maybe better uh, percentage maybe i can make a video gathering all of them i just got a message from my bank and they said that on my savings account uh, I can get 0.15 percentage per year. That's ridiculous. I have better chances investing everything in indexes because at least that one has an average 8% growth uh, per year. As the last news, um, I just wanted to show you that in asset at asset managers, 1.2 million Bitcoin worth of $57 billion is playing around. And that is 4% of Bitcoin's supply. Now there was, we remember, the big hype about Tesla buying uh, crypto or Bitcoin and then Tesla selling Bitcoin for $300 million and then Tesla rejecting payment with Bitcoin for Tesla cars, however small that amount was. It really affected the price. Now, I just want to show you for the next time when the, when the FUD comes that the total amount of Bitcoin at asset managers at companies, at institutions, is 4, 4% of the total supply. 96% of uh, the total supply of Bitcoin is at retail, at people. And the big dump is not because they sell, it's because you sell on the news that they sell. Because if this 4% would be dumped on the exchanges, the price would plummet 30-40%, that's 100% sure. But it's not, it's not what causes the, the minus 80%. It's the people who also sell on the news. Because 3, 4, 5 times more people will sell their Bitcoins on the news that institutions and companies sold. So just keep that in mind, keep that in mind. And maybe next time when everything is very, very red, then you will use it for a good entry point. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. Obviously, not financial advice. 
this is all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the content. If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow.